That's how you started to craft her from the makeup. I was wondering, did you start with the look, the dialect, the movement, what comes first? But for you in this instance, it started with what she was going to look like and what that makeup would look like. And then how did you begin to layer? Because it's such a layered performance. Well, really, I had to start with the given circumstances. And, you know, unfortunately, Oprah, with so many, and, and I will say this, there's so many black people who have lived that have done extraordinary things and there's no information about them. There's very little information about Ma Rainey. Only seven pictures existed of her. I mean, people said things about her like she was, you know, she would be in church on Sunday, but then she would be at an orgy by Monday. She was a bisexual. She went to bars and beat up grown men, but she was very kind. You know, just a mass of contradictions. I had to deal with that first. That's what I had to deal with first. And she had a mouthful of gold teeth. If someone says that about a human being, then that's who they are. And then after that, I ran out of information. There just is not a lot of information out there. So then I had to rely on what I know about life and what I know about women, the women that I know in my life, the black women in my life. And I started with my Aunt Joyce. I'm not going to lie because I <laughs> loved my Aunt Joyce. Other than my mom, she was the first woman that I knew that was absolutely beautiful.